Hi, thank you for joining me. My name is Jolene Morris, and in this video, I will show you how I make my more Make Ahead Number 10 Lupin Flour Tortillas. This recipe in the More Make Ahead playlist replaces waffles mix, which I don't make anymore. My breakfast number two, Egg Bites, takes one-fourth cup cottage cheese, but then I have no regular recipe to use the remaining cottage cheese from the carton. As such, I tried making my lupin flour tortillas out of the remaining cottage cheese. That didn't work out. But many recipes can use cottage cheese and ricotta cheese interchangeably, so I tried making my lupin flour tortillas out of ricotta cheese. That worked well, but I do have to be careful to cook them slowly and at a low heat. I'll show you in just a minute. Here are the recipe ingredients from my Dinner Meals cookbook video. I use an entire carton of whole milk ricotta cheese, but I press it overnight in a tofu press. These are the instructions for my version of lupin flour tortillas. This is page one of two pages of instructions. This is page two of two pages of instructions for my version of lupin flour tortillas. This demo of me making my lupin flour tortillas is not up to my usual standards. I have a severe sunburn, so I just don't feel good. No amount of editing can make this video good. I made lots of mistakes that I just can't edit out. But I'm going to post this substandard video anyway, and here is why. The tortillas I make are for my dinner number 13, enchiladas. I eat enchiladas every 12 weeks. Each time I make enchiladas, it makes four servings. I eat one serving the day I make them, and another serving the next day. Then I freeze the other two servings for the next time, which is in 12 weeks. As such, I make one of my dinners from scratch every 24 weeks, which is roughly six months. So it will be six months from now until I make enchiladas again. Thus, even though this video is bad, I didn't want to wait six months to show you how I make tortillas. Please let me know in the comments if this video is so bad that you want me to redo it in six months. Let me show you how I prepare the tortillas. 24 to 48 hours before I make the tortillas, I press the ricotta cheese. Press the ricotta cheese using a tofu press. Place cheesecloth in the press to keep in the cheese and to absorb some of the whey. Pour a full 15 ounce carton of ricotta cheese into the tofu press. Spread out the cheese so it is roughly level. Fold up the cheesecloth over the cheese. Your tofu press may be different than mine, but all of them squeeze out the excess whey from the cheese. Insert the pressure plate and attach the tightening screw. Tighten the pressure as much as possible. Drain off the whey that comes out. And then put the tofu press and cheese in the fridge for 24 to 48 hours to allow more whey to come out. It's been two days, so I'm ready to make the tortillas. Place one third cup lupin flour into a sifter. Add one half teaspoon salt and one teaspoon xanthan gum. Turn the sifter until all three ingredients are sifted. Mm -hmm. 
Stir those ingredients in the sifter until they are well combined. In a small bowl, put one third cup psyllium husk. Add the sifted flour mixture and stir those ingredients until they are combined. And then set the bowl aside. Now we'll open the tofu press and remove the pressed ricotta cheese. Put the pressed cheese in a food processor. I know I'm using a blender, but that's a mistake. I don't know where my mind was. You want to use a food processor. You want the cheese chopped, not liquid. Add one tablespoon of lard to the food processor. Pulse the cheese and lard in the food processor until they are finely chopped. Add the cheese lard mixture to the small bowl. and mix all the ingredients until you have a sticky dough. I'm using a Danish dough whisk, but a spoon or spatula would work just as well. Then, use your hands to finish mixing the dough. Put the dough in a small bowl and cut it into several pieces, about eight or so. Weigh all of the dough. This batch weighs exactly 100 units. We want to make eight to 10 balls. I'll make 10 because that's easy to measure. Make 10 compact balls of 10 units each.
Then let the dough balls sit out for at least 30 minutes. Using a tortilla press, flatten each ball to about 4 inches in diameter. I flatten them between two pieces of non-stick parchment paper. Careful not to push the tortilla press too hard or the tortillas will be too thin. Fry the tortillas in a greased pan at 220 degrees Fahrenheit for 1 minute, 20 seconds on side 1 and 40 seconds on side 2. Transfer the cooked tortillas to a clean kitchen towel to cool. Repeat this process to cook all 8 to 10 tortillas. Even though the parchment paper is non-stick, I spray a fine mist of oil on it using an Evo oil sprayer so it's easier to remove the raw tortilla. For more information about the tools and equipment I use, see the links in the video description below. And there you have it, more Make Ahead Recipe number 10, Lupin Flour Tortillas. Thank you for joining me today for a demo on how I make Lupin Flour Tortillas. Next, you should watch this video in the Condiments playlist. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel, and if appropriate, click the Like button below this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.